basis for what you've done. And that's where your job is. So that's why you listen to Simon Sinek. Simon Sinek, you can do it so you can one whole chicken every two days. So each crop gets three chickens a week. Now folks, it's not a lot of food for such a big animal. But like I tell people, as you can see, the laziest animal you'll find in the animal kingdom. So they don't need to spend a lot of calories. So 40% of their calorie intake goes to the every day to day workers, the organs, muscles and all of that. The other 60% of the calorie intake goes straight to fat storage. And that's for the times when it's difficult out during drought periods and all of that. Now we made a few dietary changes. Like I said, we tried tilapia. That was the one that Scarface spat out again. The other dietary change that we made was red meat uh, off cuts and so flungs, beef kidneys, and those kinds of things. Because if you make sure your mind flows from the shit you can do, I was breaking up fights every two to three days for about four weeks straight. So now, interesting enough, we found somebody that had exactly the same results and Chris Warner of 35 years told me best case why you don't get red meat in jail. They also discovered that if they fed the inmates red meat, the fights in the cells would go up like that. Whereas if they took it off the menu completely, gave them a large helping of veg and a small piece of white protein, this is the fights in the cells would go down like that. Our dietitian here, he was also on tour here, and he said he believes it's got to do the males with the temporary heightened levels of testosterone after red meat, which if it is not working now, can heightened levels. Then we're going to look into the knee so we spoke to the veterinarian, our veterinarian who comes out to check them out. She said the best thing that we can actually feed these crocodiles is rabbits. She says we must get our own rabbit to hatch and then start breeding rabbits. And she says it's the hardest cleanest protein to feed that you can feed them. And on top of that, if you feed them, you will obviously get all the parts of the prey. So the knee, the bones, the nails, organs, all of that, kidneys and livers. You'll see their stomach acid is strong enough to process all of that. So guys, this is why we believe there might have been a, a truth behind the mafia bosses having the culprits to feed their victims to. Because folks, his stomach acid is so powerful it breaks down hair, bone, nails, and everything. They will literally do nothing to the piece to identify why they Uh, look, I'll tell you the, the dynamic that we have here where we work with these 